A court in Italy has reinstated guilty verdicts against Amanda Knox. I will never go willingly back. In Atlanta, frozen gridlock lasted more than 24 hours. Thousands of people left stranded in cars, stores and schools. Do not get out on these roads. A volcano erupts in Indonesia, killing 14 people. A Staten Island Congressman Michael Grimm physically threatened Michael Scotto, our Washington bureau reporter. Clearly, he has to do that to me again. What this report outlines is the environmental impact that the Keystone Pipeline would have and according to this report, it would not have a significant impact on greenhouse gas emissions. Chris Christie just got thrown under the bus in that traffic jam scandal that has jeopardized his presidential ambitions. The security is very evident just outside the Prudential Stadium here. Super Bowl commercials take social media by storm. Justin Bieber stopped at Teterboro Airport in New Jersey. His private jet held on the tarmac after reports there was a smell of marijuana on board. The city of Ithaca will get $600,000 in federal grant money to build sidewalks, bike lanes, and crosswalks at one of the busiest intersections in the city's west end. We have not gotten into the worst part of this storm yet. That is to come a little bit later on tonight. So, uh, Chuck Norris of meteorologists.